Hey everyone, Mr. W here. Today's lesson involves long division. Division is when you start with a greater number and you want to break that into smaller groups that are equal. In this case, three smaller groups. Long division is when we use the long division brackets or sometimes it's called a long division box that helps you organize and show your work a little bit better. The two digit by one digit means that we're dividing two digit numbers by one digit numbers. Remainders means that sometimes you have numbers that are left over and we'll look at that in just a second. Okay, we'll start with vocabulary. The number inside the division brackets, the 14, is called the dividend and that is the number that we're going to divide into pieces. The 3 to the left side is called the divisor. That's the number of equal groups that we need for this problem. The answer goes on the top and that's called the quotient and that shows how many are in each equal group. We have five steps and that's the focus for today's lesson. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down and repeat and we don't always use all of those steps. We'll start with divide. Our problem is 14 divided by 3 and we want to start by going digit by digit from the left side of the dividend to the right. So in other words, how many groups of three can we get from the one? And the answer to that is zero. We just put that right on top. And if you have one apple, you can't get three apples from one apple. So that kind of shows that idea there. So now we go to the four and ask the same question, but this time it's 14. How many groups of three can we get from 14? Well, we definitely can get some groups of three. We can get a total of four groups of three, which we put on the top, and notice that we have the two left over, and we'll look at that in just a second. Our next step is that we're going to multiply. We multiply the divisor times the quotient, so three times four is 12. That 12 we put underneath the 14, and now we're ready to subtract. It's going to be 14 minus 12. We'll get those apples out of there. And it's going to be 14 minus 12 is 2. And remember when we had the 2 left over? So that's kind of showing that, uh, how we get that 2 there. That 2 is called a remainder, and we're going to put that at the top. And when you write that, your final answer you would write as 4R2, which is 4 with the remainder of 2. All right. And notice that we did not do the bring down and repeat steps for this particular problem, but the next one we will. 73 divided by 5. We're going to divide digit by digit. How many groups of 5 can we get from 7? Well, in this case, we can get 1. If we show the red dots, notice we can get a group of 5 from that 7. That's where we get that 1, right? So we now multiply our divisor times the quotient. In other words, 5 times 1 equals 5 and we put that underneath the 7. We subtract to find the difference. 7 minus 5 is 2 and notice that now we have the 3 and we want to bring that down to make 23. Okay, we'll shrink that a little bit. All right, and now we're going to repeat the steps, meaning that we're just going to start with the divide step. I'm going to put that gray uh, X over the, that part so that we're done with that part. We're focusing on the 5 and the 23. Ask yourself, how many groups of 5 can we get from 23? We can get 4, and we can show that with our red uh, dots there. See how we have 4 groups of 5, right? And notice that we have 3 that are left over, but that's not a group of 5. So we'll get to that part later. Multiply the divisor times the quotient. So in other words, for this one, 5 times 4, not 14, right? Just the 4 for this is 20. The 20 we write below the 23, and now we're ready to subtract. 23 minus 20 would be 3. And we see that we had the 3 left over, so that explains how we got that right. That 3 goes up at the top, and when we write that with the R, it's going to be 14 with the remainder of 3. Okay, here's three for you to practice using our five steps. Uh, go ahead and pause for a second, and when you're done, I'll just take a moment and we'll look through them, and then we'll be done. Okay, our first problem, A, is 
47 divided by 7, sorry, I'm a little bit uh, early with that zero there. 7 goes into 4 zero times. But 7 can go into 47 six times. 7 times 6 is 42. We subtract the 42 and we get 5. So the 5 is our remainder. So our answer is 6 with a remainder of 5. B, 73 divided by 8. 8 goes into 7 zero times. But it does go into 73 nine times because 9 times 8 is 72. When we subtract, we get 9 with a remainder of 1. 58 divided by 4. 4 does go into 5 one time. So 1 times 4 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Then we bring down the 8, right? How many times does 4 go into 18? It goes 4 times. 4 times 4 is 16. If we subtract, we get 2. And our answer is 14 with a remainder of 2. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Great job. And we hope to see you on the next one.